Senator Wu. Thank you. I'd like to pick up on your point about um, how this bill will affect different classes of pensioners. There are those who are already retired and drawing a pension, and there are those who are still working and accumulating the pension, hoping to uh, benefit down the road when they do retire. Is it your contention that uh, this bill could force the, or could preclude the option of saving the company, uh, thus giving um, uh, an and this a disproportionate return to those who are already retired and therefore drawing a pension. They'll get a haircut, but it won't be. It will be lesser of a haircut because they have senior priority. But the bigger haircut will be borne by the workers because they will not have had the chance to have the company restructured and to preserve their jobs. Mr. Berton. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for your question. Yes, I do have a concern that if the, the, the bill affects restructuring activities, it will also affect people that presently have a, a defined benefit pension plan for whom uh, if the company enters a restructuring proceeding could get relief through a, an extension of time and, and a better timeline to pay for the and to pay for the deficit or let the market catch up. Uh, those ones potentially the, the, uh, the, the opportunity to restructure might disappear. But that that is something that we cannot know for sure because there's some level of, of lack of clarity as to what will really happen with the implementation of this bill. But we do see a strong possibility that it could affect restructuring activity and affecting restructuring activity would be really, really bad for the economy in general and for the, the, the retirees in particular. Uh, I will let uh, Alex uh, chime in on, on uh, this issue. He, he, uh, he, Sure, thank you. I, I think you have to look at the success stories of companies who've been able to restructure and save their pension plans, such as Algoma and Stelco and Abitibi Bowater referred to earlier. It's critical when these pension plans are in deficit positions, if you can save an organization to buy time to allow the pension plan to be fixed through future contributions, through market changes, and so on. That's what saves uh, the pensioners from ultimately incurring a deficit or a, a reduction in their pension obligations. There are you know, unfortunate stories with companies like Sears where they were liquidated and, and pensioners did incur a shortfall. But what we have to do is be careful that we don't create a structure where we cannot save companies going forward, such as Abitibi, so that the pension plans can ultimately be fixed and the pensioners save from any, any reduction. Mm -hmm. 